Let's start there. <laughs> hit maker. What up, bro? Young bird, iceberg. Do I gotta go there? It hit different. It do hit different if you know all that. Like for real, that's three different niggas. You know I had to do my homework before I got you on this episode of Whoop. Okay. These is Whoop episodes, bro. Let Let's start the Whoop episodes. I'm fucking with that. We got Whoop episodes now. Yeah. Let's start the. I still ain't even tried no Whoops. I put the Whoops and you gave me like in the crib. I put them up. Them motherfuckers. Uh, we gonna auction them bitches off, boy. When you, you auction the Whoops. Like, yeah, for sure. Later on, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be worth. They're gonna be like. Jordan Dior, Dior Jordan, <laughs> some shit out here in these streets for real. Oh, for real, that's how I'm trying to come though. Hey, look, you ain't tried these whoops. Out the Harriet Tubman died for this shit. It's crazy. I don't want no. I don't, I don't want no whoops. You don't want no whoops. No, no. You don't want no whoops. I'm whooped out. You whooped out. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you you whooped out, bro. Let, yeah. Let's start that. Let's get right into these whoops then. All right, cool. Why you in here with all this jury on, embarrassing me and shit? I had I had to put my little shit up. I had to put the watch up. I'm like, he came here with some shit on today. It's plain. Plain yeah. is crazy. I don't know. This my normal whoop. Normal whoops is crazy. This my normal whoop. Like, I'm normal here. whoops? Now, where the fuck is the transformer? Do I got to go there? It hit different. Man, that's that other nigga. You got to ask him, man. You talking to Hitmaker right now. That other nigga okay. know about that. Okay, the other nigga. Okay, yeah. now which nigga I told that? you it's Break three different niggas. You just said a bunch of names. Shit, you can say them. So who, so who got the chain took? Was it Iceberg, Youngberg, or Hitmaker? Break this shit down. See, the crazy part is, is that that was like, bitch, how many years ago? Like eight, 15 years ago. And um, the story was a whoop. They done told the story or whatever, but like me, I don't ever shy away from that shit because like it's me and I'm still here and um I've just been able to grow. Like I'm really like a, a motherfucking testimony for real, for real, to go through all that type of bullshit and to be here and like motherfucking um actually bigger than ever. So shit. However it went, it went that way. I'm gonna fold them gray. Mm-hmm. Let, let's start that. Mm-hmm. So we got Hitmaker in here with all these chains on. Let's let's start the lit up like this is crazy. Where did you get your new shit from? Now look, now don't <laughs> overwhelm me. They, they said I was decent, bro. You got you got to let me know. They said my shit was yeah, decent. I, now. I, I ain't mad at you. I've been trying to overwhelm. I, I never noticed that that's what, that's supposed to be you nailing some you, on a, on the OG on the original piece. Do your homework on the <laughs> FYB and what? Who FYB made that one? For? You made that at the crib. Somebody at the crib. Nah, do your homework on status jewelers. Okay. It hit different. It hit different. Now I'm whooping them. This this is Italian jewelers. So it hit different. See, now you Stat- whooping. Status ain't whooping. Let's start now. <laughs> and do your homework. <laughs> Yo, nah, man. I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, all these shit just be trophies and just shit that we just get. You know what I'm saying? It really don't mean nothing. Like, I wish that uh, motherfucker told me. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm addicted to this shit just like how you is right oh, now, God. too. It's like, God. it's like, man, you got to keep shining or whatever. And it's all marketing. You know what I'm saying? Like, because when they see J-Main, you come in, you looking like a biz um with no, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, you gotta stand out. So that treat that shit like a marketing budget for real. Okay, that's a bet. That's a bet on phone number. So mm-hmm. that's 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 a good is that good marketing advice to get J Man. So you telling me to go spend all my money on jewelry? It's crazy. Um Let's start uh, yeah. hit maker, that's what you telling me. Where you live now, J Man? Now Can look, we say that on camera? Now look, look. When J Man <laughs> live. It's a lot of trees. Let's let's start that. Okay. I live in the woods somewhere. We is gonna say that. Okay. Jermaine do live in the woods, so I'm I'm not in the city. I'm I'm in the woods somewhere. Hey, what 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 area? See, I'm what do state? You, you did your homework on Alabama. Oh, that's sweet how you, home Alabama. Oh, you went you never do your homework. Okay, so do your homework. I did I did my homework. Eat a business. Oh, my shit a little whoop right now. Eat you, a business. Oh, do your homework. Bro. I did my homework, bro. Oh, I've been doing my homework on these whoops. I ain't gonna lie, that's that song, the ghetto classic. I ain't even like that was in the era. ghetto. It's crazy. No, nah, I mean it's it's multi platinum, but it's like for real. I think it's one of the ones that like I was so young back then or whatever. Like and then I think a lot of motherfuckers grew up on that song. Like and a lot I of grew niggas up on that whoop. We was in the ring. Do your homework on the rink on eighty seven. Oh, over whooping that. Do that, your that homework on the rink, nigga. I was already <laughs> in the rink before you was not in the rink, nigga. You was <laughs> you was at home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck you talking about, boy. Do your homework on the Route sixty six. And I've been outside. I've been to the Route sixty six, boy. <laughs> Do your homework up. on me really going to motherfucking. Dixon, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's, let's start th- there. Okay, let's start there. Do then. your homework on motherfucking Leon's and all that other shit. That so break right this shit down to the fans for for the people who don't know where's where's Hitmaker from. Break oh, this shit down. Originally, um, 
So I grew up in the burbs originally or whatever in like Flossmore, home with Flossmore. And then this went before the niggas evaded, you know what I'm saying, through the suburbs. Like this when the shit was lit, like it was on some like real like rich nigga, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like my parents was successful. So from there, my parents got a divorce and I really didn't want to be with my mama and see her over whooping with a new whoop. Hit different when it hit different when your mama get a new OG whoop. OG get a new whoop. Yeah. It's crazy. So I couldn't handle that. And um, I went to the city and my dad was like the fucking, like owned a bunch of apartment buildings in Chicago over east on motherfucking Ellis and Dorchester, whatever. So I lived on 81st and Ellis mm. and I went to school at Dixon. And then from there, we moved to uh, to Foster Park. And yeah, she, uh, they man, told me you was in Foster Park with the Moles. Let's let's start there. Man, I've been start everywhere. There. I used to be the Moles over there. Um, um, damn, my grandmother lived on fucking like around like eighty. Wait, I think it was like eighty-seven Halsted type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm all around the city. I went to all fucking high schools, and I dropped out of school super early. I ain't get past ninth grade, but I went to motherfucking. You dropped Ken- out in ninth grade, bro? bro. I went to Kenwood. I went to CVS. I went to Olive Harvey. I went to Curie. Mm. I'm talking about this all in like damn that one one year type shit. One year is crazy. And because you dropped out at ninth freshman yeah, year. Yeah, I think it's like yeah, and then I I got uh, probably like the beginning of like tenth grade, but I ain't get to the because I never went to school, bro. Like I was just outside like on some real rap nigga shit like around like infrared. Do your homework on LEP being really called infrared. Okay, okay. And, and you know what I'm saying? So like all them niggas that was over there on Halstead, you know what I'm saying? That's how I end up knowing like. A bunch of different people and that that's around that area that's from that area because that was back in the day it was a legendary studio on Halstead right across the street from the Harold's Chicken or whatever and we was just there and like a lot of people came from that shit whether it was um myself um books who a crazy producer right now as well who my mentor taught me everything count Lil Lair, rest in peace law um Mooney who um worked with um uh, Nardo Wick now, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it was, it, shout out to E, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was really my life. That's how I kind of got on. That's why I, I dropped out of school or whatever. I got my first record deal at like 14, 15. Like, damn, well, damn maybe before that, 13, 13, 14, something like that. And what was that like for you? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it was with DMX. and um, So that was the with DMX? Yeah, so okay. what really happened was, this is truth, this is some Chicago shit, and I'm with a real Chicago nigga, so I gotta be authentic. Uh, oh, no. So it's different when you were a real 60-30. Yeah, I'm being, Chicago I don't care where you from, nigga, but this is, we grow from Chicago. The Break this shit down, because no, they be, no, no. do your homework on J-Man out here pushing a piece. We don't give a fuck about what nobody from. Do your homework on down. me being motherfucking uh, in the year tip. Like, you know how it's like, certain motherfuckers are seniors and certain motherfuckers freshmen. Y'all up. niggas like freshmen, and I was like a senior. Let's so, start there. Let's start there. <laughs> it wasn't no all that guns and killing niggas and all that other shit back then. Niggas was just catching a fade on a bus and doing all that shit. Oh, let's no. start there. So I don't really get into all the geographical shit that's going on because I'm cool with everybody, whether it be Dirk, Keith, Herb, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even, you know, I was yeah. already rich when y'all niggas was on some, the, the fool shit. So, <laughs> do your homework. <laughs> on, I wasn't doing fool shit, bro. I was just rapping and making music. Do your homework. Nah, but do I love homework. all y'all niggas that's making music and doing that shit and pushing the piece, like you say, in a Trying positive direction positive because game. this what it is. So, back in the day, LEP, Infrared, it was called Infrared at the time. And like, I was like the premier rap off the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like Count and all the niggas, they were like older niggas when they were still in the streets or whatever. I got a, we had went and seen a bunch of record companies, niggas seen Jay-Z, seen Dame Dash, whatever. I had like a exclusive bid war with the whole fucking industry. I was probably like four foot four, motherfucking, but I was already drinking, smoking, popping flat, doing a whole shit, just wilding out. You know what I'm saying? I'm some normal Chicago shit. And um, DMX ended up signing me, and I ended up falling out with Infrared and LEP and them. And then that, my career just went with DMX from that But side. how you end up falling out with, with Infrared and LEP and them? Um, Let, let's start that. I was, let's start that. I was, I was a kid. Break this shit down. I was a kid, and I could tell a different story. But like now, looking back in hindsight or whatever, and being grown or whatever, like, man, shit. I, I just blew up, and like everybody started pulling on me, pulling me in different directions, pause or whatever, and just, you know what I'm saying, like, the, the, the nigga E and everybody else, it, just, it was just a lot of street shit going on or whatever with me being young, and then me being young, I only wanted to do the music shit, and I, you know, I was young, so my parents just was like, 
nope. And just took me away from the whole game, kind of like locked me up in like some like concentration camp, like boot camp, jail type shit or whatever. And um, that's kind of how that shit went. Damn, that shit crazy. Let's start there. Let, yeah, let, let's start there. <laughs> Now it's look, let, let, let's start with, the, with these different whoops, bro. Oh, man. Cause we got hit making in here. All right. Now what's up with you and Tink, bro? Oh, We've been shit. seeing all these whoops all over the internet. Mm -hmm. Now what's going on with you and Tink? Let's start now. Let's start right fucking now. Hit maker. Is that a direct question? What you mean? <laughs> let's start that or she call it Christian. Yeah. Do I got to go there? It okay. hit different. All right, so um, Tink. We ended up meeting, we ended up working or whatever, and then shit, I've just been locked in with a whatever for a long time, probably like it's like three, three years, three and a half years now, whatever, and shit, not too much on her. Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying y'all made a lot of money together. Y'all yeah. did a lot of positive yeah, shit. Y'all done, the, the, done gave the culture a lot of music and shit. I ain't so gonna lie. Let's yo, start there. No, nah, for real, for real. Like the way we move and, uh, and how we doing this shit or whatever, like it's really been a, a blessing. Like just to see the evolution, like um, when we met, you know what I'm saying? She was already in her motion. She had her glow and she was rebuilding her shit. You know what I'm saying? But she was already like, popping songs like Bottom Bitch and um, uh, Treat Me Like Somebody and like her, her classics that she got for her shit. And then we was able to come together and I ain't gonna lie, like the level up has just been crazy. Like to see somebody grow and to be as successful as she is now. And for me to be also in the same position and keep leveling up as well, man, it's a blessing. I, this is the first time I ever really like leveled up with somebody, you know what I'm saying? So I always hold it at a different regard. Oh, for now. So mm -hmm. you still hitting that? <laughs> let's, let's start now. Let's start there. Nah, man. Now we nah. we is on whoops, nah. bro. No. I'm so a... you ain't hitting that no more. No. You ain't hitting tink fan ass. Do we gotta go there? It hit different. Nah. I'm just the executive producer, man. Okay, executive my ass. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's start there. Now look, Masika. Do do I gotta go oh, there? It different when we switch to love and hip hop, Ooh. bro. Do do I gotta go there? Oh wow. Go nah. Ahead. Nah. Break that shit down. Break this shit down. You want to know what's so crazy, Jay Man? Like it's like I'm really like a young OG in this shit. Like, cause we talking about some. You know, love and hip hop for me. When we did it, we taped it. That shit was 2013. Let's start there. It was 11 years ago, bro. How? What was you doing 11 years ago? I don't fuck no. Let's start there. Okay. Yeah, so, no. um, this the whole whoop though. So, you talking about just Masika or love and hip hop in general? Both, both. Give us, give us everything. Masika, that's my dog, man. Like she from Chicago, she from the South Side. We initially, you know what I'm saying, was never had no type of. We were just clo cool friends. Like it's rare that we. So you trying to say you're not hitting that? That's what you're trying to. Come on, man. It's over ten years ago. Let's start there. Okay. And let's stay there. So it don't count. So no, no, no. Man, stop. That's that's my dog. I'm telling you. I'm explaining you something. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay. It's viral regardless, so I ain't got to do that, but we're going to explain it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, start there. So, Shorty, um, she from the crib. She she super cool. We used to just link up, drink, smoke, or whatever, and, like, we, we like, super cool. Like, she one of them ones that's from the crib that, like, could be a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it is rare to find one of them, and, um, shit, we all Gucci, man. Like, I, I haven't spoke to her or seen her or whatever. Like, that was a crazy time. That was, like, a different energy that was going on back then or whatever. But, man, like, I haven't seen her in a long time, but I, I see she doing well, you know? So oh, I'm happy for her. Let's stay there. Now, <laughs> and we gonna stay right there. <laughs> nah. You know I do got these whoops in here, bro. Oh, man, nah. Harriet Tubman died for this shit. And you ain't trying to eat these whoops, bro. What, what do Harriet Tubman got to do with the whoops? Look, bro. Harriet Tubman got everything to do with these whoops. Why? Because I'm a black man with my own whoops. You think she ran with no shoes on for no reason? It hit different. See, you light-skinned. You was a house slave. It hit different. <laughs> let's start there. You don't appreciate this shit. Let, hey, let's start there. And you dark-skinned? Do your homework. <laughs> Do your homework on I, I was in the house sometime. It hit different. Bro, dark-skinned. That's behind the camera. It let's hit start different. there. Do your homework <laughs> on me black as hell. Let's start there. It hit different. Let's start there. Now look, um, let let's get right into these into these different whoops. Um, based off from what you said, I'ma aim a little a little different towards right. these different ways. All right, then. go ahead. Um, but look, with your rich ass, no, nope. since you since you came up, mm -hmm. 
Now look, how did you go? How did you go from being young bird to hit maker? What 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 like how did you change the like what was what made you change your name? Like how did you come? Like yo, so look, I ain't gonna lie, like I'm a studio like fucking like junkie. I'm always here 24/7. That's why I ain't really got no real personal life because niggas just really in a studio and it's hard to do that. So I always been that way and I always been making dope shit and um. Niggas just wasn't fucking with Young Bird, you know what I'm saying? Like I had the the hits and I had the heat, but like it took me to really go through a bunch of shit and like check my own ego or whatever. Cause it's hard for like for you to like be somebody that that got to a couple dollars and then is known as this person or whatever, and then be like, damn, these niggas don't want it from me or whatever. So I kind of like restructured my whole shit. Like I went to Atlanta, and like my first time like saying like hit maker was on a song with DJ Infamous, Ludacris, Juicy J, and Jeezy. And that shit was like a crazy song for Infamous, shout out to him, and he left me on the hook. I used to just do the hooks and do the shit. Like I would do all the hooks and the demos or whatever, and I stayed on that, and that was my first like look at it. And um, I was just like, man, these niggas don't want the shit for me, so I'm just gonna change my name to Hitmaker. And really was a crazy move, cause um, I ain't really like have a bunch of hits at the time, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how I was feeling, and, and God was just good. Ran with that shit. And that Hell shit yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, yeah, cause that's how the whole love and hip hop shit and all the shit came to fruition. Like, boom, I'm doing a bunch of different shit. Hit maker, hit maker, hit maker. Rebranding my shit. I'm starting to get a little traction. I'm starting to do a bunch of songs. Then I end up going back to LA with my brother Martez, who went to Dixon with me from Chicago, um, and he was like starting his clothing line, like, Yay Kim and shit like that. So I brought him out there. We lived together and then that's when Love and Hip Hop happened and that's how I ended up meeting Nicki Minaj. That's how all that shit happened. And then at the time as I'm doing Love and Hip Hop, I'm working with Nicki Minaj and I'm then I start working with everybody and it was up. So you feel like Nicki you feel like Nicki Minaj opened the doors for you or what? Yeah, hell yeah. Cause um shit, at that point, it just in my story, like not too much on her either, but shit. Um she just gave me a platform. You know how like a motherfucker like, like, like really love to like do studio shit or whatever and you ain't got no studio and you not in that position. She took a liking to me and just allowed me to work in her space. That's like me, mm -hmm. like I know you do music. That's yeah, like yeah. me being like, man, Jay, man, I ain't here just go in this bitch and go crazy. Yeah, cool. And then you could present me some shit and if I fuck with it, it's a possibility to use it. And that's what happened and it turned into a whole bunch of songs um, on her shit. And then I ain't gonna lie, I was over whooping like, this is when Instagram first was going crazy or whatever, like 2013, 14. She had to sign, like how I got to sign. That's where I get the, the sign shit for my label from. Yeah, like having the signs in the studio. She was the first person I seen with that shit. And like I used to just be in her studio whooping, you know what I'm saying? Popped out with her a couple of times and then she, you know, the talk just start happening. So I'm sure that opened up a bunch of doors. Oh, bro. Let's, let's start there. Oh, Nikki opening up them doors. No, let's start here. Let's start there then. What's up with you over whooping with Cardi B and them on the internet? Let's start there. Now, now let's start there. No. That, that Where was is the loyalty. Th that was let's in the whoops. There. That was in these whoops, bro. What? I was going to ask you your opinion Where on that. Where is whoop. the loyalty? Now, now, now break this shit down. Where the loyalty? I'm, bog I'm bogus. You now, out now. of pocket, bro. I'm bogus. I'm bogus. Bro, it was niggas that was when you first got in your bag, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas was really fing with you just genuinely. Like, I with you genuinely i don't know what be going on i ain't in tune with none of that shit i f with you genuinely like man for you to you 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 been around like i guess niggas putting you on game and telling you to move a little different that was that was that was foul bro so look what you felt like i did that was foul what what did you see what it, did you see that it was, was foul? Whole, it was whole shit. What, what was shit, bro Let, let's start that what was the whole shit? break that shit down what did you see that was whole no matter what, how you felt, I ain't too tapped into it, but I know yeah. how you felt. Um, them people, uh, they, they gave you a look early in your shit. You never turn your back on niggas that do that for you. Okay. So when you say them people, you mean Cardi and Offset, right? I don't care who it is. So who, Anybody that was- Who is them people? You got to know about this situation to call it whole shit, anybody, right? Let's, any, let's start that. No, we ain't speaking about them personally. Anybody that looked out for you and showed you love on the come up, on the super early, man, you got to respect that. You, you got to treat them super with, 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 with care. You know, special cloth alert. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real, like, fragile big Nah, that's real. I, I respect your opinion about that. Mm -hmm. Now, when it come to Cardi, 
I give it the utmost respect. Mm-hmm. Let, let's start there. So don't ever get that twisted. Let, let's start there. Mm-hmm. Now, Jermaine play a lot. A lot of motherfuckers don't understand. You know, I'm from the right. You know, we we got a different sense of humor, true, gang. True. So it hit different when a motherfucker say some shit and a motherfucker take it the wrong way. True. So it's been several times I done reached out to bro now. Um, yeah, yeah, that shit yeah. just comedian shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Don't woo, woo, woo. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro. So, I mean, that shit is what it is. But it's crazy you talk about this whole shit. Let's, let's start there. You don't even know what the is going on? See, do I, I gotta go there? Nah, there I don't want the details of everything, there, but look, like, be for real, like. But I get what you're saying. Nah, if somebody you reach for like, some, yeah, if somebody nah, reach a, for yeah, you early, shit, okay. you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta show love. I ain't in the details, but from what I seen, just browsing or whatever, like. I wish everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know, you know, shit, shit gonna pass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, It'll yeah, be smooth. Do. But you know how niggas feel, though. On phone number. And because that, that you was, a street dude, wait, stop. You okay. a street dude, then you kind of mask it with the comedian shit. Mm. So when you get to saying some shit, niggas looking at you from one perspective, like, nah, like, you play on this side of the, the vibe, and then now you trying to tuck it on some comedian stuff, and that's why I hit different. Mm. So you felt like fooling him for like, nah, he trying to tuck. Now nah, I told my nigga exactly what it is. Now, nah, um, this ain't that. I fuck with y'all like this. It is what it is. Nah, but look, you trying to build your career, and I don't even want to even stand or stay on this too long or whatever, because that's that's dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? Y'all handle that. But uh, man, all that man, it it like reason I say this whole shit like, cause like I didn't even, you know what I'm saying, like been in some situations like man i feel like anytime like you revealing or posting or showing some shit that a conversation so it was that, the happened, post. that so happened let's start that, that it was jay posting them DMs. yeah that whatever that- happened behind the scenes in a dm if i wanted it public then i would have just went live and addressed it or something for the world to see like yeah but i think that you it, when i say whole shit i just mean like girl shit it sounds like some some of your girl but mm-hmm. you you building a business and you a comedian so it's it's, it's weird you know that's one of them who your who your top five artists of all time and don't say offset a card. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Yo, now nah, you over. I'm with fucking me. with you, bro. Uh, Let's start there. Um, <laughs> shout out to both of them. Oh, uh, some real of all shit. time, I think that uh, probably Jay Z, Drake, Wayne, okay. Big, and then the last one. It's rapper. It's rapper, right? Um, oh, you said artist. Artists, hip hop nah, and R and B, cause we right here with hit maker. This hip hop and R and B. Do that. This hip hop and R and B. You don't want me to throw right, drill in there. I give, I give the rappers or whatever, and then I do the R and B. So okay, the rappers is probably um, like I said, Hove. At number one, was this an order or what? Yeah, Hove, Drake, Wayne, Big, and Nas. Now, with with them five being said, mm-hmm. we heard rumors of ghostwriters. Do that count, or is we just looking at the artists? Bro, cut it out, bro. Break this shit down to the fans. Do that. Do that matter to no. hitmaker? No. Okay. So no. We, so we looking at them in that order. Okay. Yeah. R and B. R and B. Let's start there. Kells. Okay. C B. Hmm. C B is crazy. That's a good. Usher. One. Mm. Hold on, wait, wait. You putting hold on. C B before Usher too? Let's start there. I mean You said you was just me. saying it's seniors for, and freshmen, right? Me, Let's for, start there. For me. For me. Okay. Cause shit, I mean, me and C B got a, a catalog of hits, you know what I'm saying? Me and Usher got a hit right now that's actively working right now too. Shout out to Usher. That's my brother. But um just for me. You know what I'm saying? What I done grew up on. Um Damn, Donnell Jones for the crib. And then, um, I don't know, uh, Beyonce, whatever. And B, Queen Damn. B. Yeah. L- leave it up to Queen B then. Okay, that, that's a bet. It hit different. Um, now, look, we done had you on here long enough. Mm-hmm. I can't afford to pay your rich ass all of this. Mm-hmm. Let, let's start there. Mm-hmm. Um, before we get about this, about this episode, whoops. Mm-hmm. Now, how many how many cribs you got, bro? We we done heard about this crib, that crib, this crib, that crib. How, how's you whooping? I don't know how you kind of. I got a, a, a lot of real estate. Okay. So I mean, shit. 
A lot, J Man. Okay, a lot. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. In in the city too. In the city, let's start. Let's start there. Let's start there. A lot of cribs is crazy. Let's start there. Now, before we get off this episode, mm-hmm. what what can you get to the youth? You know this ep- these whoop souls mm-hmm. is about um, me stopping the violence and pushing the peace. That's how I came up with these whoops mm-hmm. and everything else I've been having going on. Right. I appreciate you for jumping on my shit on some mm-hmm. real shit um, and just over whooping with me. Um, salute to you and keep doing what you doing mm-hmm. and keep grinding on oh, them Greg getting bigger. How you get bigger? Let's start there. I know you're going to have... Oh, you over whooping with the pause, bro. Wait, yeah. Getting bigger, how you get bigger? Wait, bro, whoa, bro, whoa, bro, whoa, bro, whoa, bro, 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 insane. Bro, 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 that bro. was crazy. Bro, bro, bro. Now you bigger change, with bigger career. <laughs> where your man be at, bro? Like, where's y'all man's at? I hate, I hate this damn generation, bro. You can't even say shit nowadays. Pause. Now I gotta think about what the fuck I just said. Yeah, you out of pocket. What the? Fuck? Be telling no man no shit like that. Hey, right, bro. All right. Do your. Thing, man. Nah, Can I say that? Do your thing. Appreciate Do your you. thing, Pre- man. Do your thing, big dog. Go ahead and get down, man. man. Yo, shout out to everybody that's watching <laughs> this whoop episode, man. You already know what's up with me, man. Make a sound. Shout out to all the artists that we working with right now. It's going to be a bunch of new music on the way, man. Last year was a crazy year. This year going to be another crazy year. And um, as you see, let's start here. We in a studio, so y'all better get there.